Okay, this is information that you can use to do the horsepower lab if you're having a problem finding stairs to go up. So the first thing we need to do is get the, the height of the stairs, which looks like it's seven and three quarters inches. And you'll change that to meters by multiplying um, it'll be seven and three quarters is 7.75 times 0 0.0254 meters per inch. And then we're going to need the number of stairs. So we'll count the stairs. We go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve stairs. And then we will need the time. That it takes so when I to hit the first stair I'm gonna hit start and the top stair I'll hit stop and so here we go start and stop so it took five seconds 5.94 seconds and the other piece of information that we'll need for that would be the weight uh, my weight is 215 pounds so you'll convert that to kilograms 2.2 pounds per kilograms and you will need the time that I got 5.94 seconds to calculate the power because power is work divided by time those are the numbers you can use okay this is how we are going to use the information that we collected on the stairs. So the first one here, where you're calculating the distance, we are going to be using the 12, 12 stairs that we counted. And we are going to be using the 7.75 inches, inches per stair. And we are, we can use 12 stairs, 7.75 inches per stair to get the total number of inches. But then remember you need to convert, convert to meters. Okay, 0 0.0254 meters per inch. Okay, <clears throat> the mass, you guys, the I gave you the mass is 215 pounds convert to kilograms 2.2 pounds per kilogram so you can do that conversion okay the amount of lifting force that you have okay for your for this part and you're calculating using um, doing the lifting force the force this is the force of gravity force of gravity that you have to overcome in order to move up the stairs so that will be your mass in kilograms mass in kilograms times 9.8 which is the acceleration due to gravity and that will give you the amount of force that will give you this right here lifting force then you have the work equation for work work equals force times distance so your force that you just calculated in the previous problem number three there by multiplying your mass in kilograms times 9.8 that will give you the force and gravity. That answer you can bring right down to number four. And then the distance will be your answer that you get from number one. And you'll bring that answer down and bring it right there. Then your power, power equals work divided by time. Work divided by time. So we just calculated the amount of work, right? So we're gonna use that answer that we get from number four, work, and divided by time, that was the number that we got in our 
uh, in a stopwatch camera, which was 5.94 seconds. And then for number six, we are going to convert. This is going to give you, number five is going to give you the power in watts. Watts. One of the units for power. And then for number six, we are going to convert watts into horsepower. And there are 746 watts per one horsepower. And that's how you do this lab. Good luck on this.